company out there in the UK, a brand new company, has put out this travel bag. And you're probably asking yourself, well, what's the difference between this travel bag and any other travel bag? Because a lot of them are starting to look the same. This one right here is made out of ocean plastics. Plastics that people put into the ocean, discard. Reich is taking those plastics out and use a recycled materials on this bag and all of their accessories and the things that they make over there, right? That's pretty damn cool. Saving our planet, that's what I'm talking about. This travel pack measures in at 21 inches tall, 13 inches wide, and it's got a depth of eight inches. And it's got a decent weight at 4.18 pounds. On this bag, the accessories are very, very cool. If versatility was a bag, it would be this bag right here because it can travel. You could do photography with this bag and it does it really, really well. So let's go ahead and get into some of the accessories that actually go inside the bag you can use with the bag. I think the number one coolest one is this camera cube right here. This is the right camera cube. And I'm not talking about, you know, your small little point and shoot. This is like full on DSLR with multiple lenses. You can use this, this pack right here. It's made out of this recycled Dex 840D. So that's the recycled material. So it, it gives it like a little, it's a grippy feeling on this fabric. It's on, included on the bag as well. But I love the larger opening on this camera cube. And this bolts in, I'll show you how it clips into the bag. So you open it up, got a lot of different spaces. Space is enough here for a full frame DSLR, multiple lenses, microphones, and all of that. And then on the lid itself, it's got a place for you to put all your camera accessories like your SD cards, your filters, I wanna say lenses, your filters and all of that. All of that can fit inside of this camera cube. So that is pretty slick and it has a nice grab handle to it on the top so you can get a really good grab on it. And not only does it just bolt in, there's a side access compartment here so you can access your DSLR. So once it's inside of the bag, you got this opening right here on the side, this U-shaped opening where you can access your camera on body. While this bag is on your body, you can put it on, you can pull your camera out. So that's pretty cool. That's just the number one accessory. The number two accessory as I knock my water bottle down is this rain fly. I really like this rain fly. It just, you know, comes in this small little package and you can pop it out. So that way, when the rainstorm that you didn't expect comes in, you can throw this rain fly on your bag. It's already pretty, the bag itself is already pretty water resistant, but this is just like an extra layer of protection. And I dig this. I dig extra accessories for bags because I want to be prepared. The next accessory that Wright sells is this shoulder strap. So if you, you can carry this bag in a backpack mode. So I got the backpack strap set up. But you can also tuck these backpack straps away, flip the bag to a side, and it's got some D-ring hooks on the top right here. And all, it's nice metal G-hooks that you can clip in to these D-rings and turn this bag to more of a duffel style bag. But some folks like the backpack, some folks will like the duffel style, just put this over your shoulder. And I really like the length of this pad, it's a really good length. I would add a little bit of width to it. If I was to make it, I would have added just a little bit of width to it, but the length of it is great. And it's gonna fall right on your shoulders really well. So that's another great accessory. So the next thing is these straps right here. You can hook them to the outside of the bag on either side. There's a little catch on the side right here. And you put these straps in. So if you have like maybe a larger item, a jacket, I don't know. Anything that you're traveling with that won't fit in the bag, you can attach these straps and it has a cinch on it. It says nice Wujin buckles right here, magnetic. So that, you know, it's easy to get your stuff on and off of this bag. I really like these accessory straps as well. Now the final thing is this hip belt. I think that they did the hip belt pretty well on this pack right here. It's pretty simple. It's got a Velcro little backing right there. And then on the back, on the lumbar portion of the bag down here, you slide the hip belt in, and it has a pretty simple locking system where it kind of reminds me of those tra uh, track bags where the one end goes into the other end and then it's locked. It's not coming out. 
So that's pretty slip, uh, simple, but it's got a good width on it. So even for a bigger guy like me, this will work out. So now that we got the accessories out of the way, I wanna go to this pocket down here at the bottom of this bag. We got number, I would say number five, YKK zippers on this bag and they're lockable, all, in, all of the main sections. But this section right here, I really like. I was kind of skeptical, but if you look in there, one thing that you'll note, there's no high vis lining, but this section is for your shoes. So I got my size, my big old feet, my size 13 Nikes right here. These actually fit in this pocket. So for a travel bag, this is great for me. So that's one shoe that fits in there. And then the other shoe will fit in there as well. And that gives you a little bit of padding if you're carrying some, you know, some more valuable things in your bag as well. So you got a pocket here. If we move up the bag a little bit, same fabric on this bag, the recycled Dex 840 fabric, which is awesome. It feels really good. And this pocket right here is a admin section. Again, high vis lining would have been great in this bag. There's small organization, simple organization. I think there's two slip pockets and a couple of pin pockets. And you got space in the front here to put additional items. So a good amount of space. And there is some, like some volume independence in this bag. So that's a really cool thing. And if you move up, you get the right branding right there. Very subtle and subdued. I love it when companies do that. I mean, they just used a different kind of, you know, material or a different kind of finish on the letters itself. So it stands away from like the matted black of the rest of the bag. On the top of the bag, this is like your quick access pocket and it's huge. Cell phone, keys, wallet, chargers, all of that stuff can fit fit in there there's even an additional pocket in the back where it's fleece lined so if you want to you know kind of protect your cell phone maybe you want to slip a smaller camera in there there it's you know it's going to be protected there's also a key ring hook which is a little short i would have liked to seen that longer but they did use a metal hook though so that's pretty good i actually like that now as we get to the top of the bag it's probably one of the things i'm probably going to complain about the most is the way that they did the grab handles on this bag now i understand the concept I understand that that folks that want to be able to like easily wipe down a pack like this, especially if you're traveling through the airport through the age of COVID, wipe down your surfaces that you're grabbing all the time. I just would have liked to see a little bit more support. This is just like a, a thin piece of, I won't say plastic. I'm not sure what the material is but there's no padding at all on this. And it's, you got a grab handle on the top, you got a grab handle on the bottom. Aesthetically, it looks really good, but functionally for me, I just like a little bit more. Then on the side, you do have a grab handle as well. This side and also on this side. So from all four directions, you can grab this bag, which is really awesome. So let's move around to the side of the bag. On the side, you do have a water bottle compartment and they did it really well. It's on the side here, you unzip, nice little Hyperlon zipper garages. This goes in, and at first I didn't think this was gonna be enough space, but I got my 32 ounce Camelback chute right here, and I was surprised to find out that this actually fits in here with a little bit of suggestion, you know, a little, a little help. So, it zips up and disappears in that bag. That's really cool. It does push into the main section just a little bit, but I'm willing to sacrifice that to get that cleaner look. So that's pretty dope. I actually like that a whole, whole lot the way that they did that. Let's go on to the, the back side of the bag right here on the top. This is a section for your laptop. A 17 inch laptop will fit into this bag. So I actually do have an older 17 inch laptop that I always use in my videos right here. So this is a old Dell Inspiron, super thick laptop. <laughs> Check that out. So, and it's heavy, but it slips in. This laptop sleeve is suspended and it's got the same fleece lining in it and it's got the YKK lockable zipper. So you're good. Nobody will be able to steal your laptop out of your bag. Now, that's awesome. So flipping around, we do have 
load lifters here on G hook. So you, when you're actually gonna take the shoulder straps and convert it into like more of a carry on mode, you take the G hooks off and then slide everything behind this back panel. But the load lifters themselves work out really well. You do have like a little toilet hook, you know, if you don't wanna set your bag down on the nasty ground in the bathroom in the airport, you can hang it up. So that's pretty dope. The shoulder straps themselves, really impressed with. The density of the foam in here is really good. Nice um, contour ergonomic cut on the shoulder straps. Not so mad at the back panel at all for, for this type of bag, the convertible travel bag. So I understand why you don't get a lot of vent, uh, venting or mesh back here. So that's pretty slick. I'm not mad at, at the way that they did that. Now you do have, you see that you have a luggage pass through and then there's a little hidden pocket. It's easy to look over behind the luggage pass through. There's a little zipper right there where you can store like your passports, your money, stuff like that. And no one will know it's back there unless they re saw this review. They didn't read the review. They saw the review. So, and then down here is your, your uh, hip belt pass through right there. It's got the Velcro in the back so it can attach to the hip belt right here hip belt not hip strap this is you know you can transfer weight from out of the pack down to your hips with this belt so that's pretty damn slick let's go ahead and go into the main section of the bag i mean that's where we should go right so this thing opens up like a like a like a piece of luggage or like a suitcase so you unzip now i would say on this longer track opening this bag on this longer track it, the zippers are just a hair sticky, just a hair. It's not bad, and I think over time they will wear in a little bit better. But inside, this is where you got your main 35 liters in this pack, right? So you got your main storage section over here. Again, high vis lighting or lighter lighting would have helped, like a lighter gray or something like that, would just help visibility inside of this pack. Right now, we're just looking at like a big black hole, right? So. We have a little bit of organization on the lid of this pack right here. So we got two pockets and what Reich uses is like a thinner, you know, more refined mesh. I think it's going to hold up over time. It's a good place to store like your smaller items that you don't want your bag, you know, losing your bag. So that's pretty slick. Two pockets right here. And then behind this section, because like I said, there is some volume independence in this pack, you can unzip this section and get into another storage compartment where you can store clothes. You can see like this is the this pocket right here. This is where I put my shoes in the beginning of the video. So you do have another, you know, some space up here to store some clothes. I think that this bag would be great for a week, seven days, weekend trip, whatever. Um, if you're washing, you're good. But I like this 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 expandability of this section because this fabric kind of stands up and it's designed to stand up away from this lid section you can stuff more clothes in here if you need to so that's pretty dope same size zippers on the inside they're just not lockable so that's pretty sweet then on the other side this is where the camera cube can kind of comes into play you see these clips on the side of the camera cube they clip in right into the middle of the bag there's little sections right here in the bag where you can clip in that camera cube so you can see that camera cube when you're rocking the camera cube you're gonna have to pack most of your clothes on this section you got a little space on the top and the bottom over here but most of your clothes are gonna have to go over here if you're that photographer that you know that person that created that's gonna be using the camera cube but if you're not gonna get the camera cube, cause you don't have to in the package, you got all kinds of different packages that you can get. You have a lot of space and you do have like a closed little holder here with that same Wujin buckle. So it's magnetic, but you know, I'm saying this is, this is enough space to travel for a considerable amount of time. But I really like it, the layout of this. I think it's super simple. I think what makes this bag is definitely the accessories and all the different things that you can add to this bag to make it whatever you want it to be. So before we get out of here, we gotta talk about the price. The price on this bag is 300 bucks. And you might be asking, George, should I purchase this bag $300? If you like the functionality of this bag. If you're a creator, this is probably one of the better camera cubes I've seen in a combination backpack. So this is like 
serious, nice camera cue texture stuff. So if you're a creator, if you're just a travel person, if you like the idea of saving the planet with your purchases, with where you put your money, you like the idea of taking plastics out of the ocean to make products, I think that this is a good idea. I definitely like companies that are like, forward facing you know um thinking for the future where they're trying to save the planet in the stuff they create so if you want to add to that you want to put your money behind that then i definitely support it for real so guys if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you got a question leave it down there in the comments so i try to get back to you and if you got if you love this content subscribe to the channel because we always got room for more subscribers and i'll see you guys in the next one peace